Welcome back aliens this is Navin Reddy from Talisco Learnings and in this video we'll talk about intents. So we have already talked about uh, how to set up your Android studio, we talked about uh, how to add two numbers in Android, how to design your uh, layouts and all those things right. Now in this video we'll talk about intents. Now why it's so important? Let's say you are, you are building one activity and then you want to call the second activity. The most important part here comes intent, right? So you have to understand how intent works so that you can call the second activity from the first activity, right? That's, how, that's, how, that's what you want. Let's say you are creating a login application. After login, you want to create a, you want to, you want to call a next activity, then we can use intent. Now, uh, what, are, what is intent? So intent is used for communication between your system and your application. Right, so uh, it, we can use it for in three ways. So we can use it as uh, activity. So you can start an activity from using an intent. You can start this service. So you can start in a service using intent, and you can deliver a broadcast using intent. So it's very important, right? So you can start an activity, you can start a service, and you can deliver a broadcast using uh, intent. So those are those, those those are the uses of intent. Uh, then we have different types of intent. So we have two types basically. Uh, so we have different types. So the first type of intent is explicit. So this is explicit intent. So we have explicit. And the second one is implicit. Okay, so we have two types of uh, intents. Now what is explicit? So let's say you want to call an activity. So from your application, you're from your activity, you're calling the other activity in your same application, right? In this scenario, you have to use explicit because you know the name of the second activity, right? Because you are clear, you are creating the activity. So let's say we have activity activity one, and then we have activity two. So you are able to call activity two from activity one is because you know the name of the activity two. Ah, that sounds crazy, right? So that is explicit intent. What is implicit intent? So let's say you don't know. So let's say in your uh, Android. In your Android, you have lots of apps, right? One of the app is, let's say, location app. And then on in your app, you're locating some, some person. And suddenly when somebody clicks on that, now you cannot show the actual map in your app. So what you do, you take help of Google Maps. So you're sending messages from your application to Google Map application, and you don't know the name of Google Map app. Uh, that sounds crazy, right? So that's why we have to use implicit uh, intents. Okay, so just to demonstrate that how to call an activity which is explicit uh, intent uh, to call the activity. So let's say we have two activities here. We have activity one and then we have activity two. So this is your A1 and A2. So we have two activities here. In order to call the second activity, you have, it's very simple. You just have to create, uh, you just have to use a method which is start activity. This will do things for you. So you just have to create, you just have to call a method which is start activity. But hold on, which activity? In your application, you might have 15 activities. Which one to call? So here you have to mention which activity, but you cannot mention activity name. You have to mention the object of intent. So let's say my object of intent is I. So in order to call the activity, we have to create object which is I here. But then question arises: how to create I. So we have to say intent I, and then we have to say equal to new that's how we do right so we have to say new intent and in this bracket so in this bracket you have to pass two parameters right this is the first parameter is from where from where you're calling the activity the second parameter is which activity to call so the first one is a1 so we are calling from a1 to a2 so we have to pass two parameters here so again to start the activity so we are we have to use intent to call the second activity so we have the method name is start activity in which you have to pass intent object. So again, intent is a class in Java or in Android. Android uses Java. So we have to say intent i equal to new intent. You have to pass two parameters. The first one will be the activity from which you're calling. The second parameter is the activity you want to call. So in this, you have to mention the object of a1, which is object dot this, uh, that this. And the second one, we have to mention the class name uh, why class name? Because we have not created the object yet. So when you call o2 or a2 dot class, it will create the object and you can see the activity. So that's intent for you. There are multiple uses. This is one of the simplest use of intent. So in the next video, which is the practical of intent, in which will be will be uh, we'll see about how to use intent, how to call an activity, those stuff. 
so yeah, that's it from this video if you have any any doubts any uh, questions you can comment in this comment section uh, if you have some recommend if you want to if you want some other video you can just comment in that section and yeah, that's it thanks for watching and do subscribe for further videos